The journey of race car driver Bianca Bustamante uh, is what we are uncovering today on So Janelle TV. Uh, Bianca is being so candid. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying this interview, learning a lot from you and your story and being inspired by it all. Um, from how you started when you were, what, one year old to three years old, six years old, and to the pandemic, which was very difficult, and to coming back as a dark horse. Um, let me talk about that win. Uh, you recently you're coming of a win from Valencia, right? Um, how did you celebrate that with your family or even with your dad as he is as much a part of this? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think the first one was for him really. Uh, I mean, I even remember, well, I, we, could, we couldn't really celebrate it because I was in Europe and... Where was he? He was in America working. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, yes. Working again, um, the life, but... How did you tell him? Did Was he watching? Yeah, he was, wide, he was watching um, the live timing and then um, he got um, the call from my manager, Daryl, because Daryl was updated and he said that Bia got the win, let's go. And he was very happy. Um, I think the time difference as well, I think they were like sleeping or something. Right. And then, I called them uh, and on the phone uh, it was just like a lot of crying a lot of like a lot of crying my dad cries often <laughs> my dad <laughs> cries often whenever he speaks about me or about my win or stuff like that and because yeah it just means a lot to us especially from a family that's you know was never like destined to to make it mm. like um, a lot of people often say that you never make it because you're not rich right and so for us to finally get a win and kind of just, you know, just like laugh about it when those times where people said that to us, you know, and, and kind of have this trophy as as a representation, and not just for me or, or my, my, my parents, but to everyone out there, that things that they can't make it because they're hindered by who they are, their ethnicity or their culture or, or how rich they are or they're female or their gender, you know, I think nothing in life can really stop you from achieving what you aspire as long as you have what it takes to continue fighting for it. I mean, I fought every single day of my life and it, it brought me here. Yeah, and you're not done yet. And I'm what? not done. And <laughs> what's that's on the, the beauty of it. Yeah, what's on the horizon for you? I think that's, yeah, the beauty of motorsport and the beauty of being 18. I mean, apart from only just getting my license, uh, I'm excited to drive in the street, but I'm excited as well to see what the road has in store for me. I mean, F1 Academy now and the wins we've, we've, we've gathered this year is only really the beginning of, uh, I would say, a beautiful career and a beautiful journey that I can take you guys with me in. Uh, but yeah, it's the beginning all the hard work we've done is finally kind of blossoming into something. And it's beautiful to just even think about what the next year has in store for me because I know that it's gonna be a lot of hardship, maybe a lot of difficult moments, but I'm gonna be doing what I love. And you know, the goal for me is to be the first ever, you know, um, female F1 driver in my era and to, to bring the Filipino flag in the world of F1. And that for me is my Everest and everything I'm doing now is really just to bring me closer to that goal of mine. And I know that with the hard work I'm doing every day, it's bringing me one step closer. And, you know, I want to make it up there. I want to reach to F3, F2 and yeah, to eventually make it. And I know that with the support of everyone behind me, it's possible. Anything in life is possible. I have Daryl, I have my team, I have my community and of course I have you know my sponsors that really has been the main reason why I was able to race again and why I was able to compete and live out my dreams you know I want to you know thank so much the, the Escalante family for what they've done you know they were with me with my throughout my wins um, they were with me um, in Monza they celebrated the win with me as well even though my parents couldn't be there I felt like I had my family with me and yeah, I think that's yeah, the value of life is, is finding what you're passionate about. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about messages because I know you have a lot. You have a lot to think. Um, let's start with Daryl. Who, Daryl? Can I, can I? Yes. <laughs> Daryl, <laughs> if you're watching this, um, I, I hope that you, you approve of the whole interview and you have no comments because often <laughs> he's always like, oh no, Bianca, you're sitting wrong. You said the wrong word. And it's so funny. But yeah, he's amazing. But yeah, he's been, you've been my second dad um, in racing and in life. And really you've taught me so much, to be honest, you know, not just in racing anymore, but just 
me as a person. Most of my values came from you. Um, and because of this, I was able to find myself. And, and thank you for guiding me towards the right path. And of course, pushing me to be an even better driver than what I can even imagine. And of course, to my whole CBR media team, um, Jerry, Dika, um, Arthur, Radhika, I cannot name all of you guys, but all of you guys um, that works tirelessly to get me sponsorships, endorsement deals, and interviews, and, and being very patient with, with, with Bia when she's not always so responsive and sometimes sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, and I, I, I know that we can reach even greater heights together. And message for your mom? Of course. Ah, to my mom, uh, to the strongest woman I know. Uh, <laughs> um, I think um, it's, it's so unheard by how much I want to thank you, really. I don't think I thank you enough for all the sacrifices you've done and for all the sacrifices you're willing to make. Um, I know that you had to live a tough life supporting me and my brother for taking care of us. And, and I want to thank you for being tough on me. For, for putting the hammer down when you really need to. Even when you don't need to, you still do it. <laughs> for scolding me and for chasing me down with the chinelas. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, um, especially yeah, in times where I was losing, you made me feel like a winner. So thank you for that. Your dad. And yeah, to my dad, my biggest sponsor, <laughs> I would say. I'm joking. But, um, but yeah. Um, it's his birthday now, actually. Yeah, it was his, his birthday, August 18, but oh. unfortunately, I was away working. So I was um, testing at Autobahn. So unfortunately, I couldn't celebrate his birthday with him, but I know that he's having a blast back home in Philippines. Um, I hope you're eating all the good foods. Um, don't forget to take your medicine, though. <laughs> and, and yeah, I want to thank you so much. Um, this is only the beginning for us, and I can't wait to, yeah win more together your brother and yeah to my to my older to my oldest brother and my older brother um i know, i don't know if he's gonna watch this interview <laughs> but yeah i just wish him all the health in the world he's um the happiest cutest little pie and whenever i come home he's always just jumping up and down and i do hope that yeah he's well he's healthy and you know for me health is the priority and as long as he is and i'm happy and i wish you so much and the bia from 2020 the bia from the pandemic who was crying thinking that you know her value was lost because she's had to stop racing what would you tell her now um I think um, later on she will start to realize that, you know, racing, you know, you know, I think in pursuit of her passions, she kind of forgot to live out her life. And um, that's a lesson she will start to later find out that, you know, it's, it's, it's beautiful to have passion and to find your calling and, and to pursue something in life. But it's also important to not lose your way along the way, to not lose yourself along the way. Um, and in times I think I might have, you know, so desperately just um, inside of winning races, I start, I lost who I was, you know, and that made me realize that without racing, I wasn't really anyone else. I didn't have any passion. I didn't have any other um, hobbies. I didn't have many friends. And, and it's not too late to make, to make friends, to make decisions in life that are not always about racing and to find things that you like that aren't always connected to motorsport. So yeah, live your life out. Um, and racing will always be there for you. And uh, we will also be there for you, especially your Dude. fans, right? We will be following you. Thank you once Thank again you so much. for joining. I truly enjoy this interview. <sighs> so many words of wisdom. Are you sure you're just 18? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm. Uh, I think I was a very poetic person in my previous life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again, Thank and we so wish much. you all the best. God bless you on your Thank journey. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. And then you go. And then we go like, like that. Again. <laughs> okay, so. Wait, I